Hi guys, in this video I will try to mold fiberglass into the shape that will fit this riser. I will show you how to make simple mold, prepare and lay up the fiberglass fabric and test its strength. It will be interesting, so stay tuned. In this case I usually do the bent lamination technique, which is basically gluing multiple thin strips into the shape you want. That works great, but for the sake of the video I will do the molding process. For the mold I'm using few MDF boards which I glued together. I need about 35 mm of thickness, but I leave it 38 just in case. Now I will trace the riser shape to the MDF boards and then cut it with a band saw. All of this can be done with hand tools. I've done it before, but it just takes uh, more time. Now I will smooth everything with my homemade sander. I'm making this mold for single use only, so I won't use any mold release or anything, just duct tape. Because usually epoxy will not stick to the duct tape. My original plan was to use the wet layup technique, which is basically laying strip by strip of fiberglass cloth and brushing epoxy on it. But with that technique, you cannot usually get a high performance part because of the excess resin the final product will be heavy and not so strong so i decided to go with compression mold technique which includes making a top part for the mold and clamping it to squeeze the excess resin that way the final product will be much better to make the top part of the mold i'm using this off cut I will also cut this mold into the curved shape to get better clamping angles. The upper part of the mold is too thin so I decided to reinforce it with another piece of MDF. I'm gluing this part together with CA glue. To finish the mold, I'm gluing these MDF pieces on the sides. The fit is perfect and this mold is ready. Now we need to prepare fiberglass cloth. To stop fiberglass from fraying, I'm using masking tape. Then I mark the desired width, which is in this case 38 millimeters. Now I connect the dots with a thin sharpie. Cutting this is a bit slow process, so be patient. I am working on two projects simultaneously, so I need a lot of these strips. Probably around 60 pieces. Good way to predict the thickness of our laminate is use caliper and apply a little bit of pressure. I need about 7 or 8 mm, so I will use half of these strips. As for the resin, I like to use 1 to 1 ratio, so in this case I will use about 200 grams of epoxy. 
but we will squeeze a lot of that resin when we apply pressure to the mold. Be sure to mix it very well, I like to mix for about 5 minutes. You can also add pigments to the resin, in this case I'm using black. Now let's start the lamination process. It's really straightforward, I just lay the fiberglass cloth into the mold and brush on the epoxy. I'm using a lot of epoxy, probably more than I need, but I don't worry because any excess will be squeezed out later. Some epoxy is required heat to fully harden, others not, so be sure to check the manual. Now we can close the mold and apply clamps. Be sure to clamp it really tightly. Here you can see the excess resin dripping out of the mold, which is a good sign. All we need now is to let it cure for a few days. Now it's time to open the mold. I like to use the wooden wedges for that. I lose my patience, so I use a little bit of violence to do this. Now we can break this excess epoxy with pliers. And cut this ends with hexol. The final thickness of our laminate is 7.5 mm, which is perfect. Now we can test its strength with really scientific test. I weigh about 85 kilos and it easily supports my weight. And most importantly, it fit really well on this riser. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you have any question, please leave it in the comments.